Digital video broadcasting is a suite of internationally accepted open standards for digital television. DVB standards are maintained by the DVB Project, an international industry consortium with more than 270 members, and are published by a joint technical committee of the European Telecommunications Standards Institute. European Committee for Electro-Technical Standardization and European Broadcasting Union. The interaction of the DVB substandards is described in the DVB cookbook. Many aspects of DVB are patented, including elements of the MPEG video coding and audio coding. Transmission. DVB systems distribute data using a variety of approaches, including satellite. DVBS, DVBS2 and DVBSH, DVBS MATV for distribution via SMATV, cable, DVBC, DVBC2, terrestrial television, DVBT, DVBT2 digital terrestrial television for handhelds, DVBH, DVBSH. Microwave, using DTT, the MMDS, and, or MVDS standards. These standards define the physical layer and data link layer of the distribution system. Devices interact with the physical layer via a synchronous parallel interface, synchronous serial interface, or asynchronous serial interface. All data is transmitted in MPEG transport streams with some additional constraints. A standard for temporally compressed distribution to mobile devices was published in November 2004. These distribution systems differ mainly in the modulation schemes used and error correcting codes used, due to the different technical constraints. DVBS uses QPSK, 8PSK or 16QAM. DVBS2 uses QPSK, 8PSK, 16APSK or 32APSK at the broadcaster's decision. QPSK and 8PSK are the only versions regularly used. DVBC uses QAM, 16QAM, 32QAM, 64QAM, 128QAM or 256QAM. Lastly, DVBT uses 16QAM or 64QAM in combination with OFDM and can support hierarchical modulation. The DVBT2 specification was approved by the DVB Steering Board in June 2008 and sent to Etsy for adoption as a formal standard. Etsy adopted the standard on 9 September 2009. The DVB-T2 standard gives more robust TV reception and increases the possible bit rate by over 30% for single transmitters and should increase the max bit rate by over 50% in large single frequency networks. DVB has established a 3D TV group to identify what kind of 3D TV solution does the market want and need, and how can DVB play an active part in the creation of that solution. The CM 3D TV group held the DVB 3D TV kickoff workshop in Geneva on 25 January 2010, followed by the first CM 3D TV meeting the next day. DVB now defines a new standard for 3D video broadcast. DVB 3D TV Modes and features of latest DVB X2 system standards in comparison Content Besides digital audio and digital video transmission, DVB also defines data connections with return channels for several media and protocols. Older technologies such as teletext and vertical blanking interval data are also supported by the standards to ease conversion. However, for many applications more advanced alternatives like DVB sub for subtitling are available. Encryption and metadata. The conditional access system defines a common scrambling algorithm and a physical common interface for accessing scrambled content. DVBCA providers develop their wholly proprietary conditional access systems with reference to these specifications. Multiple simultaneous CA systems can be assigned to a scrambled DVB program stream providing operational and commercial flexibility for the service. Provider 
DVB is also developing a content protection and copy management system for protecting content after it has been received, which is intended to allow flexible use of recorded content on a home network or beyond, while preventing unconstrained sharing on the Internet. DVB-CPCM has been the source of much controversy in the popular press and it is said that CPCM is the DVB's answer to the failed American broadcast flag. DVB transports include metadata called service information that links the various elementary streams into coherent programs and provides human-readable descriptions for electronic program guides as well as for automatic searching and filtering. The dating system used with this metadata suffers from a year 2038 problem in which due to the limited 16 bits and modified Julian Day offset used, will cause an overflow issue similar to the year 2000 problem. By comparison, the rival DigiCypher 2-based ATSC system will not have this issue until 2048 due in part to 32 bits being used. Recently, DVB has adopted a profile of the metadata defined by the TV Anytime Forum. This is an XML schema-based technology and the DVB profile is tailored for enhanced personal digital recorders. DVB lately also started an activity to develop a service for IPTV which also includes metadata definitions for a broadband content guide software platform. The DVB Multimedia Home Platform defines a Java-based platform for the development of consumer video system applications. In addition to providing abstractions for many DVB and MPEG-2 concepts, it provides interfaces for other features like network card control, application download, and layered graphics. Return Channel DVB has standardized a number of return channels that work together with DVB to create bi-directional communication. RCS is short for Return Channel Satellite, and specifies return channels in C, Q and CAR frequency bands with return bandwidth of up to 2 MBIT per second. DVB-RCT is short for Return Channel Terrestrial, specified by ETCN 301958. Adoption DVB-S and DVB-C were ratified in 1994. DVB-T was ratified in early 1997. The first commercial DVB-T broadcasts were performed by the United Kingdom's Digital TV Group in late 1998. In 2003 Berlin, Germany was the first area to completely stop broadcasting analog TV signals. Most European countries are fully covered by digital television and many have switched off PAL, CCAM services. In Europe, as well as in Australia, South Africa and India, DVB is used throughout. This also holds true for cable and satellite in most Asian, African and many South American countries. Many of these have not yet selected a format for digital terrestrial broadcasts and a few have chosen ATSC instead of DVBT. Africa, Kenya DVBT broadcasts were launched by the President of Kenya, MWAI Kibaki, on 9 December 2009. Broadcasts are using H264, with the University of Nairobi supplying the decoders. Kenya has also been broadcasting DVB-H since July 2009, available on selected Nokia and ZTE handsets on the Safaricom and other GSM networks. South Africa Since 1995, the pay TV operator DSTV used the DVB-S standard to broadcast its services. In 2010 it started a DVB over IP service, and in 2011 it started DSTV Mobile using the DVB-H standard. In late 2010, the South African cabinet endorsed a decision by a Southern African Development Community Task Team to adopt the DVB-T2 standard. Asia In Asia several standards are under implementation China Hong Kong in Hong Kong. Several cable TV operators such as TVB Payvision and Cable TV have already started using DVBS or DVBC. The government however has adopted the DMBT-H standard developed in mainland China.
for its digital terrestrial broadcasting services which has started since 31 December 2007. Iran on 17 March 2009, DVBH and DVBTH 264, AAC Broadcasting started in Tehran, DVBT Broadcasting now available in other cities like Isfahan, Mashhad, Shiraz, Om, Tabriz and Rasht. India Indian government announced the discontinuation of analog signals in the four metropolitan cities of Mumbai, Delhi, Kolkata by 31 March 2012 and for Tier 2 cities such as Bangalore by 31 March 2013. Most houses are now required to use a digital set-top box to watch cable television in several cities in India. An example set-top box is a Cisco DVB box provided by one of the digital television providers. Israel DVB-T broadcasts using H264 commenced in Israel on 1 June 2009 with the broadcast trial and the full broadcast began on 2 August 2009. Analog broadcasts were originally planned to end in 18 months after the launch, but analog broadcasts were switched off on 31 March 2011 instead. During 2010, DVB-T broadcasts have become widely available in most of Israel and an EPG was added to the broadcasts. Japan with the exception of Skype Effect TV, Japan uses different formats in all areas, which are however quite similar to their DVB counterparts. Sky Perfect is a satellite provider using DVB on its 124 and 128 degrees east satellites. Its satellite at 110 degrees east does not use DVB, however, Malaysia in Malaysia. A new pay television station MITV began service in September 2005 using DVB IPTV technology while lone satellite programming provider Astro has been transmitting in DVBS since its inception in 1996. Free-to-air DVB-T trials began in late 2006 with a simulcast of both TV1 and TV2 plus a new channel called RTM3, RTMI. In April 2007, RTM announced that the outcome of the test is favorable and expects DVB-T to go public by the end of 2007. However, the system did not go public as planned. As of 2008, the trial digital lineup has expanded to include a music television channel called Music Active and a sports channel called Arena, with a news channel called Barita Active planned for inclusion in the extended trials soon. Also, high-definition trials were performed during the Beijing Olympics and the outcome was also favorable. It was announced that the system would go public in 2009. In 2000 2009, MITV closed down, changed its name to U Television and announced that it was changing to Scrambled DVB-T upon relaunch instead of the DVB-IPTV system used prior to shutting down. However, RTM's digital network again did not go public, although around this time TVs that are first-generation DVB-T capable went on sale. The government has since announced that they will be deploying DVB-T2 instead in stages starting in mid-2015 An analog shut-off is has been delayed to 2017. Philippines in the Philippines, DVBS and DVBS2 are the two broadcast standards currently used by satellite companies, while DVBC is also used by some cable companies. The government adopted DVB-T in November 2006 for digital terrestrial broadcasting but a year later, it considered other standards to replace DVB-T. The country has chosen the ISDBT system instead of DVBT. Taiwan in Taiwan, some digital cable television systems use DVBC, though most customers still use analog NTSC cable television. The government planned adopting ATSC or the Japanese ISDBT standard as NTSC's replacement. However, the country has chosen the European DVB-T system instead. 
public television service and foremost and TV now provided high-definition television. The former has a channel called HIHD, the latter uses its HD channel for broadcasting MLB baseball. Europe Cyprus Cyprus uses DVBT with MPEG-4 encoding. Analog transmission stopped on 1 July 2011 for all channels except CYBC1. Denmark in Denmark, DVBT replaced the analog transmission system for TV on 1 November 2009. Danish national digital TV transmission has been outsourced to the company Boxer TVAS, acting as gatekeeper organization for terrestrial TV transmission in Denmark. However, there are still several free channels from Dr. Finland DVBT transmissions were launched on 21 August 2001. The analog networks continued alongside the digital ones until 1 September 2007, when they were shut down nationwide. Before the analog switch off, the terrestrial network had three multiplexes. Mux A, Mux B and Mux C. Mux A contained the channels of the public broadcaster Years Radio and Mux B was shared between the two commercial broadcasters, MTV3 and Nelonen. Mux C contained channels of various other broadcasters. After the analog closed down, a fourth multiplex named Mux C was launched. All of the Years radio channels are broadcast free to air, likewise a handful of commercial ones including MTV3, Nelonen, SUBTV, Jim, Nelonen Sport, Live, Fox, TV5 Finland, Ava and Kutonen. There are also several paid channels sold by Plus TV. Italy The switch off from analog terrestrial network to DVBT started on 15 October 2008. Analog broadcast was ended on 4 July 2012 after nearly four years of transition in phases. Netherlands In the Netherlands, DVBS broadcasting started on 1 July 1996. Satellite provider MultiChoice switched off the analog service shortly after on 18 August 1996. DVBT broadcasting started April 2003, and terrestrial analog broadcasting was switched off December 2006. It was initially marketed by Digitena but later by KPN. Multiplex 1 contains the NPO1, NPO2 and NPO3 national TV channels, and a regional channel. Multiplexes 2 to 5 have the other encrypted commercial and international channels. Multiplex 1 also broadcasts the radio channels Radio 1, Radio 2, 3FM, Radio 4, Radio 5, Radio 6 Concerts and a function also a regional channel. As of June 2011, the Dutch DVBT service had 29 TV channels and 20 radio channels. Norway in Norway, DVBT broadcasting is marketed under Rix TV and NRK. DVBT broadcasting via the terrestrial network began in November 2007 and has subsequently been rolled out one part of the country at a time. The Norwegian implementation of DVBT is different from most others, as it uses H264 with HEAAC audio encoding. While most other countries have adapted the less recent TEMPEG-2 standard, Notably most DVB software for PC has problems with this, though in late 2007 compatible software was released, like DVB Viewer using the LibFAD2 library. Sony has released several HDTVs that support Norway's DVB-T implementation without use of a separate set-top box, and Sega MyTD91 HD. Grundig DTR 8720 STBs are others. Poland currently. Poland uses the DVB-T standard with MPEG-4 encoding. Analog broadcast switch off started on the 7th of November 2012 and was completed on the 23rd of July 2013. Portugal Portugal follows the DVB-T implementation using H264 with AAC audio encoding. 
It has been live since 29 April 2009 and the switch-off date for all analog signals was on 26 April 2012. Russia currently Russia uses the DVB-T standard with MPEG-4 encoding for the limited experimental broadcasting and cable networks. Majority of TV broadcasting still being done in the old analog CCAM standard. The Ministry of Communication, however, pledged to switch to the DVB-T2 as the transmitting centers are gradually upgraded, and plans to abandon analog broadcast by 2015, funds permitting. Several pilot broadcasting centers in some regions are already online and simulcasting in DVB-T2 SD and CCAM signal since February 2010. With more to go, only one channel pack with 8 to 10 main national radio and TV channels is available for now, with more planned to be added as the digital TV network is expanded. United Kingdom in the UK DVB-T has been adopted for broadcast of standard definition terrestrial programming, as well as a single DVB-T2 multiplex for high definition programming. The UK terminated all analog terrestrial broadcasts by the end of 2012. The vast majority of channels are available free to air through the Freeview service. DVB-T was also used for the now defunct on digital, ITV digital and top-up TV service. All satellite programming is broadcast using either DVB-S or DVB-S2. Subscription-based cable television from Virgin Media uses DVB-C, alongside a limited selection of analog channels. North America In North America, DVBS is often used in encoding and video compression of digital satellite communications alongside Hughes DSS. Unlike Motorola's DigiCypher 2 standard, DVB has a wider adoption in terms of the number of manufacturers of receivers. Terrestrial digital television broadcasts in Canada, Mexico, El Salvador, Honduras and the United States use ATSC encoding with 8VSB modulation instead of DVB-T with COFDM. Television news gathering links from mobile vans to central receive points use DVB-T with COFDM in the 2 GHz frequency band. Oceania New Zealand In New Zealand, DVB broadcasting is marketed under the Freeview brand name, DVB compliant products. Companies that manufacture a product which is compliant to one or more DVB standards have the option of registering a declaration of conformity for that product. Wherever the DVB trademark is used in relation to a product, be it a broadcast, a service, an application or equipment, the product must be registered with the DVB Project Office.